Hi everyone, uh, Bacon Beagle here. I'm going to be showing you a walkthrough for Dishonored, and I'm going to be helping you get quite a few achievements in the game. I'm actually going to be helping you get quite a few, so clean hands, mostly flesh and steel, ghost, shadow, surgical, specter, faceless, and poetic justice all throughout the course of this game. So this is the first level right here. Uh, what you're going to be doing is, of course, you're going to start in your prison cell. So because of the way you're going to be playing through this, we're playing through uh, pure pacifist. We're not going to be hurting anyone, uh, as in killing anyone. And you're also not going to be getting detected. So you're going to have to play through this game very sneakily without really uh, interacting with guards as much as possible. So, starting out, you're going to do pretty much what just about everyone does. You're just going to sneak over here to these pillars. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to wait at this first pillar because if you go too quickly, the guards will see you and come investigate. So, what you're going to wait for is for the these two guards that we're talking to split up. And the first guard is going to walk down this little hallway. And the other guard will look out the window. As soon as this uh, guard right here turns his back to you, go ahead and pickpocket him, grab the health potion, then go in the room. So you're going to climb up these ledges. If you somehow manage to hurt yourself, you can eat something. And then grab as many coins as you can all throughout this game and level. Because you're going to be buying a lot of upgrades and you're going to use a lot of sleep darts in the future. So open up this door, grab that coin, then you're going to pickpocket this key off the guard, walk down this little hallway, open the gate with the key that you just pickpocketed, then you're going to come over to this corner and you have to be careful because uh, you're going to trigger a guard right here, you can just barely see him at first, and sometimes he waits and sometimes he just walks and will look down the hall and see you. So usually you're going to want to wait till he starts walking before you even try to go down the hallway. Now there's not really any easy ways to get past this guard so you just want to go ahead and knock him out and then hold your button to pick him up. I am playing this on the PC as you can see but this achievement guide should of course work for any platform. So you're going to go ahead and go in the corner and you're gonna throw this guard down. Well, actually, you're gonna drop him. Always be sure to check that guards are unconscious by looking at them, because even if you knock them out and put them on the ground gently, they can sometimes glitch out and die. And I've failed levels that way before, and it's really aggravating. So what you're gonna do here is go grab these coins, because uh, later on it'll be harder to grab them, and you'll see why. Then you're gonna sneak over here, grab some coins, I am doing a bit of a speed run, so I'm not really going to activate most story stuff. After you grab this explosive, it's going to uh, spawn another guard in this outer room that we were just in. He's going to patrol around, and usually he ends up stopping to kill rats. It's pretty randomized where he uh, initially is, just depending on how fast you are. As you can see, he almost saw me, but he didn't quite, so I went ahead and knocked him out then. If you really want to, you can try and just pickpocket him and then open the door. I usually prefer to knock out guards, though. So after you throw this guard down, again, be sure to double check that he says unconscious. Then you're going to unlock this gate. Now, in my experience, I've I've played through this level about four times. This guard in this room is really sketchy. Sometimes he sees me almost instantaneously. Other times I'll walk right by him and he won't notice me. So go ahead and try and assume that he's going to be uh, really looking for you. So just sneak around the right side. I always go on the right side. It's more direct and it's faster. Then you're going to uh, walk by, go up these stairs, and there's going to be another door on your right. Now, in this room, there are going to be three guards. You can do what I can do, 
which is going to be knocking out all three. This will ensure you get more money and uh, more loot. Or if you want, uh, you'll see there's red pipes right there on the right. You can climb up to those and simply go over. So what I'm going to do is do the knockout route. This gives me more loot. You're going to want to be careful because the guards in these two rooms patrol and they can sometimes see you knock out the guard. So I'm going to temporarily hide this guard behind this little uh, barrier. But later on you'll see that there is a really good hiding spot where I'm actually going to dump five guard bodies. So in this room you've got a patrolling guard and he just does the length of the hallway. I was lucky enough to get him right as his back was turned. As you can see, he turned white for just a split second, but uh, that doesn't mean he saw me. You're going to notice that using uh, keyholes is really useful in this. If you want to get the pickpocketing achievement, just go ahead and pickpocket and then immediately knock out the guard. It doesn't take much more work, although occasionally you might accidentally bump into them so be a little bit careful as you can see I forgot about a health potion so go back and make sure to get that after you knock out these guards grab these coins over here and there's gonna be more over by the lever so then you're gonna go ahead and pull this lever and come over here to these two guards these are really annoying to deal with because it seems like they'll see you sometimes even when their face is turned away from you. Even when they have their back to you, they'll see you sometimes, it seems. So, this first guard is just going to be standing there for a while, and the more distant guard is going to be patrolling. What you're going to want to do is he's going to stop on that walkway up there at the control panel, looking towards the wall that's in your direction, so he'll see you at this point if you walk out there. So, what you're going to want to do is wait until as soon as he turns his back, you're going to go over and knock this guard out. So actually what is going to happen in this playthrough is I'm going to make a small mistake. I, I went ahead and left it in my recording so you can see what I did. What I did was I went up to knock out the guard and I accidentally uh, bumped into him. And that aggravated him and made him obviously catch on to me. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually I, d I uh, reloaded a quick save. And that's what you're going to want to do as well. So, as soon as you uh, knock out these guards, what you're going to want to do is take them all and uh, you're going to end up putting them in this little rat cage on the left. So I'm going to go ahead and put the first one in the uh, rat cage. After that, I'm going to sneak up on this second guard, pickpocket him, then knock him out. Uh, be careful knocking out the second guard as occasionally he seems to sometimes just turn around when you least expect it. If you watch him though, you will figure out his route. If you're a bit impatient like me, you can just go up to him and knock him out. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to backtrack and then I'm going to pick up the guards that I already hid temporarily and I'm gonna go ahead and move them over to this more forward area and hide them in this little rat cage as well. The reason I do this is because uh, guards will come running when you blow up the door and you don't want them possibly seeing these hidden guards. I'm not a hundred percent sure whether they will see them if you hide them in there but this way is pretty much guaranteed for them the unconscious bodies not to get found. As you can see, this cage is pretty glitchy though, so quick save before you put guards in there and uh, try and make sure they don't get caught in the geometry. So basically, that's all I'm doing right here. Not terribly exciting. And what happened here is, I believe, I'm not sure if I did all the guards and thought there was one more or if the body simply disappeared because the bodies are prone to disappearing. So what you're going to uh, do now is go ahead and close the door behind you. This will slow down any guards that come running. Then you're going to plant the bomb. 
and then it's going to explode. You're going to run off, but do so crouched. Then you're going to get, go in the water, stay as low as you can, then swim to the edge of the water on the other side, and you're going to end up going into the sewers, and then you're going to have a door, and you're going to go ahead and go through that door. So now we're going to get to the second part of the level, which is the sewers. So you're going to start out, and you're going to hear this guard conversation. You're going to climb up on these boxes. Uh, don't go in the cage for two reasons. One is there are guards that might see you if you go in instantly. Second is there is a group of rats that will attack you, and that's just not fun. So after that, I'm going to be doing a bit of a speed run through this part of the level. There is money hidden around, but I'll let you find that. I'm just trying to show you how to get through this without getting detected. You're going to end up doing a lot of swimming. So, as always in this level, you're just going to go ahead and move this body, open the door by turning the crank. Then you're going to go around the hole, or if you're an idiot like me, you'll fall in and have to jump back out. After that, you're going to keep running. There's going to be some bodies falling that guards are throwing down, and a very large pack of rats. They will attack you, so what you're going to want to do is throw these bodies on the ground and try to space them out so that the rats will have to run between them. This should give you plenty of time to turn the crank. Now, you're going to want to make sure that all the rats are gone. Sometimes uh, you can do it too quickly and they'll attack you rather than actually go for the dead bodies. So give them a few seconds to actually run and go eat the dead bodies. After that, you're just going to run through this part of the level. If you turn left at that turn, there, I believe, is some uh, minor loot back there. I just skip it since I don't really need it. Now, this is the trap part of the level. Don't go on the stairs on the left. Instead, you're going to jump up here. Now, if, if you go right, there's some loot over there and I believe some steel bolts that you can get and some other items. Uh, after that, you're just going to come over here along this walkway, grab some coins off the bed, and then grab your loot and all your uh, weapons that the Wanderer gave to you. So, on your quick sets, you're going to have quite a few lethal options. To ensure you don't accidentally get a kill, I usually disable those. So as you can see, I'm immediately going to put sleep darts on my first preset. Once you get blink, you're usually going to put that on too. After that, I'm going to jump over that wall so that I, I don't trigger the trap. Then if you walk over on the left, you can see a safe. Now the key to the safe is in the corner. If you look on the wall past the whiskey bottles, you'll see some numbers, and those are the key to the safe. There'll be some stuff in there. Now you're going to go up here, loot this little train car type thing for some money. Then drop down, and you're going to want to wait for these guards to end their conversation. Bastard. Wait till the guard gets a decent distance away and the other guard walks up to this little wall. You're going to pickpocket and then knock him out. Then you're going to put his unconscious body in the corner behind you. After this, uh, I'm just going to do the speed run route and swim this. You're going to miss a few coins, but you're also going to miss quite a few guards. And in my opinion, this is just much, much easier to do then try and sneak past all the guards. I actually didn't know this route existed till my third try. So I definitely recommend doing this. You're gonna get all the way to the end swimming and it's really finicky letting you back up over here. I usually find going on the far wall helps. Then you're gonna sneak past, don't run, because there will occasionally be guards looking your way. After that you can just run to the end 
There will be some items worth some uh, money in this little trash can. I'm going to go ahead and skip them though because I'm not too worried about it. After that you're going to get to Samuel and he's going to pick you up, take you back to the pub. And now here at the end what I'm going to go ahead and show you is that I did in fact get no detections, no kills, no bodies with low chaos and a ghost here at the end. And there you go. That's how you do the first level of Dishonored, the prison. After that, be sure to tune back for my other walkthroughs. Thanks.